I was at John's house probably for a week and a half, two weeks prior to this happening. Okay. So, every night we kind of like, you know, during the day me and John would go fishing. We would, we would just do stuff like that, go on bike rides, do anything like that to just like stay out of the house. But at nighttime, it was just me, John, his mom, and we'd have dinner every single night. So, you know, we had dinner and then we went and watched Netflix just like every other night and then I just went to sleep because he was laying there you know he said he was going to sleep mm -hmm. so so what happened um, if you could just tell us what happened one night that night prior to his death the next what morning do you mean? like in the morning what happened yeah that night did, did, did he seem different did he tell you anything well he just would he seemed like frustrated he did he did seem frustrated and um he said that him and emily got in a fight and um i know that part because i heard that part and uh yeah so was he did he tell you i'm gonna go kill her did no he... he didn't say any comments like that he just um he, he said like slick comments like I don't know just why Emily would do this or I don't know this or I don't know that but like he didn't say any like comments that he was gonna go threaten like, no. kill her did you notice him being any different after that like or he was just very upset he was just upset he um, wouldn't really talk about it did you want to talk about it no so what time did you guys go to sleep uh, it was about midnight midnight yeah well I thought he was going to sleep at midnight so what happened the next morning the next morning i got woken up to it was probably around like 10 o'clock and i got woke up to john's mom um john's mom woke me up um and said you know the cops are here they said that they found john's body so it was charlotte county cops and um they were notified by northport police department to come and notify us that they found john's body that they handed us north Northport Police Department's phone number and said call them if you have any more questions. Now, Obviously we had more questions. Now do you do you remember what John was wearing that night when he went to bed? When he went to bed he was wearing black basketball shorts and a black t-shirt. Black t-shirt. Yep. Now was did he take a black hoodie or a mask or anything around there? I did you see anything like that? I didn't see anything like that. I was did something to your phone? Yeah, I woke up and uh, so I walked outside or walked out of the room to talk to his mom to find something else out. Um, I walked back into my bedroom or, or the bedroom and found my phone in two pieces with my battery out of my phone. And uh, so I walked back and you know I tell her I said my battery's out of my phone, and, you know. And so I went outside and uh, asked the officers, you know, is, can you tell us anything more, something? And they're like, all we were told was to tell you that. You know, we found his body, or that Northport Police Department found his body, and we just were he notified took his to tell him. Yeah, he took his bike. He took his bike. Now, did you know that he always had a backpack on him? A yeah, little red Reskin backpack? All the time. Did you ever see a knife in there? Um, yeah, for fishing and stuff. It Was that the same dagger that you see on TV, or a yeah. new, same one? Yeah. Okay, did he ever tell you he was going to go ahead and, you know, like, kill her, or, you know? No. Did he tell you what kind of a fight that they had, Emily and the and John? No. Uh, over what? They didn't. No, she, he didn't tell me over what. He just snapped. Yeah, they had a fight. So, um, what did you think about when the cops came and they said, you know, John is dead? And I was freaking out, obviously, and plus I just got woken up out of a dead sleep, you know, being told this. Um, so I had to like figure something out. So I went to the room and like I was looking for his phone. I know he didn't have like he used his phone on Wi-Fi so like I'm like maybe he didn't bring his phone or um so like I was looking for anything that was different but you know everything was the same and um talked to his mom and his dad and they were freaking out about you know it's just he he did what he did and whether he did it or not he just didn't deserve to die and uh uh, I don't know what He wouldn't even here. bring up the case. Nothing at all? Nothing. 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 Like, I would even try to start a conversation about it. You know, like... Well, I, he did answer the one question. I was like, did you know? And he didn't know at first. Whether he knew or not, he said he didn't. And that's really the only question. He didn't know about what? The TV series. Oh, he said he's denying... Denying was, knowing that. That he was not on the TV series then. Which he's he was. Denying, yeah, he's just denying he knew. He just didn't want to talk about it. Didn't want to talk about it. At all. At all.